Hi, just a quick video to show you these two chips under uh, the Olympus wafer microscope. These were sent in by uh, you. Thank you very much to the mailbag. These are actually RF test chips. You can see they've got engineering uh, sample written on them, but they're RF uh, test chips from the research department at the uh, Angstrom Laboratory in Sweden. So hi to all my viewers from the Angstrom. Does anyone work there? Let us know down below. Anyway, let's check them out. Let's put them under the microscope. Because normally these metal uh, caps have been soldered on, but these ones haven't. So, ta-da! Look, we can see right inside. Let's get in there with the real microscope and see what we can see. So let's have a look at this. You can see the bond wires coming over as we bring it into focus. Fantastic! This is a hundred times magnification. So you can see how the bond wires are just uh, welded onto the... Uh, pads ult ultrasonically uh, welded on there. You'll notice the different coloured uh, traces there. They're different uh, oxide layers giving different colours. And I'm not sure what that black blob is there. That's obviously some sort of uh, contamination. But that's terrific, isn't it? I love this. So that's 100 times mag. Let's go in a bit closer and see if we can make out some more detail on this uh, RF stuff. I've uh, got to say, check out all the uh, right angles there. All the electrons are just going to fly off the corners. And there we go, 200 times uh, magnification. You can see that uh, some of the lines cross each other, uh, obviously. See those in there in the center of the picture, obviously uh, crossing. So they're on different uh, layers. They're able to do that because of the, uh, the routing, of course. If these were all just one metallic layer, you wouldn't be able to see anything, but obviously this is all uh, discrete RF transistor stuff by the looks of it. And 400 times magnification as we bring that in. There we go. Check it out. They've got like a central routing bus on there. Uh, and yeah, we're looking at some sort of, well, I don't know. Are they like match transistor arrays? I don't know. You'd have to know your semiconductor manufacturing geometry and all that sort of jazz. We've obviously got a central bus, but that's rather fascinating. So, I don't have any details on this at all, by the way. And there you go. You can see some of the uh, elements on the side there. So I'm not sure what's going on the individual pin there. Obviously, they've got something, something happening. But anyway, you can see the depth of field of the camera as I bring in focus, like the top of that uh, bond wire there, and go down to the die brilliant and there's the bigger die so it's more of the same once again got one big central uh, bus happening in there I know we've got look, some separate elements over here so I don't know does anyone know what they're doing obviously they're broken up into their functional elements so whatever RF stuff is going on here uh, Oh, I've got some larger jumpers going over there, over the main bus. Look at that. So that's obviously one functional block there. And then these are other functional blocks. And it's very bus-like. I didn't expect to see um, such bus-like uh, configuration in an RF test chip. SWV? AMS? SWV? What's that? I'm not sure... There doesn't seem to be any other uh, graffiti, any other graphics uh, on here. Nobody's left their uh, calling card. Aha, 1996 vintage Nordic. Um, is that for Nordic Semiconductor? VL VLSI, Very Large Scale Integrated Circuit, uh, AS on the end of it. Hmm, SHD3, whatever that is. Interesting. Anyone know? And check out as I bring the different layers into focus. I'm only going, I'm only turning that about two microns, n not even, probably one micron. My dial is actually calibrated in microns, but I can bring, you can see the physical layers. I can bring them into focus and out of focus. That's the shallow depth of field of this camera doing that. And there's about like a micron layer difference, uh, not even, between those layers. That's terrific. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick look at some RF test chips that have something to do with Nordic Semiconductor, perhaps. Um, and if anyone's got any details, 
please let us know. But thank you very much, you, for sending those in. Back to 100 times, Mag. Sweet. I love the colours. Catch you next time.